welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel or videos, hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this step-by-step -step kind of burnt orange cut crease look. It's perfect for Valentine's to impress your gal, your girl, yourself, your whatever, your mum, your dad, your dog, your cat. It's a really lovely glam look that's hopefully going to be easy to follow. But please don't forget to subscribe, it's all down there, thanks so much. I've got this wild aim that I really want to get to like 500 subscribers by the end of the month. It's probably quite unrealistic but I like setting those, you know, those goals so, you know. Just help me, help me, please, thank you. I apologise in advance if this is going to be a really long chatty video. I'll try and edit it down as much as I can, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta have a chat, sometimes you just gotta. Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows. I've left them quite natural. Um, obviously you can do however you want. I'm going to go ahead and prime the skin with the Nivea Post Shave Balm. A little bit of this goes a really long way, so I'm just going to rub that on my fingers and just rub and pat onto my skin. Now that is on, I'm going to go and jump straight to the eyes and just let that settle into the skin. Okay, so to start with priming my eyes, I'm going to be using the Benefit Air Patrol. The only thing oh, i say about this is it's so hard to open, like every time you open it, you can't be wearing any nice clothes, you have to be so careful. So I'm just going to go and dab that onto the eyes. So I'm just going to take that out to exactly where I'm going to be putting any shadow and take my favourite Zoeva concealer buffing brush and just blend that out. Okay, so to start building the crease, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette and my Tarte and Nicole Concilio Fluffy Brush. So this is a great palette if you want to just start playing around with matte kind of eyeshadows. So you've got the three bases at the top and then respectively you've kind of got the you've got the quads you can kind of see them so yeah really easy it's kind of all there for you i'm gonna take my fluffy brush and just blend into this shade which is ludwin it's a really perfect kind of bone eyeshadow setting kind of color it's kind of kind of kind of anyway now I've put that on my brush i'm just gonna go over the primer just to make sure that that is in place so we're just really cancelling out and making sure that there's a good base to put all of our other stuff on top. Okay. Okay, now picking up the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I think every single cut crease that I ever see on YouTube, this palette is always involved. It's just got really beautiful kind of neutral tones and good tones to kind of smoke out and add a little bit of colour. I think it's back in stock now. It kind of flits in between being in stock and out of stock. Anastasia um, Beverly Hills actually have their own UK website now. So that's where I got this from because I couldn't get it anywhere else. And um, Cult Beauty sell it. And I think Beauty Bay also sell it too. So it's £41. It's quite pricey. But I definitely recommend if you just want something that's going to add a little bit of colour. You've got a little bit of sparkle. And the pigment is just amazing. That's like a tiny little dab. They're just really buttery and creamy. So definitely recommend this. Okay, so just building the crease a little bit, I'm gonna take the brush that comes with this palette. I'm just gonna pick up the shade Warm Taupe and just pat my brush in that. And just tap away any excess. So with that color, I'm just gonna start in the crease. And I'm just gonna kind of buff it out into the middle and the outside. So this is just to start to add a little bit of depth to the eye. Now I am going to tap into the Venetian Red. I'm going to tap so lightly and tap off. This one just crumbles onto your brush. So I'm just going to tap away because I don't want too much of this to start with. So I'm just going to run this and shut my eye just a little bit so I can still see. I've got quite big eyes and quite big eyelids so my crease will sit differently maybe to where yours is. So the best way is I'm just going to literally start to shut my eye a little bit and just mark this out to where the uh, top of the eye socket is. So when you've got this really kind of faint, ooh, <laughs> when you've got this really kind of faint red line, that's great. That's going to act as a little bit of a guide to where your crease is. And it doesn't matter if this bit isn't blended in. This is literally just acting as a bit of a blueprint for you. Yo. 
you ever say things and just think, what? Why did that come out in a different accent? So now that kind of blueprint is on, I'm gonna go in with my fluffy end and kind of blend it together again. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of the Real Gar shade on the corner. I'm just gonna pick that up on the same brush as we layer the colors. And I'm just gonna add that to the top. Just adding the orange in I think makes it so warm and lovely. Already you can see that the eyes, especially if you've got blue eyes, I think the orange works really nicely. Actually if you've got brown or green eyes, orange isn't so nice as well. Orange is kind of like peach in that it just suits everybody. Maybe not to wear, but definitely on the eyes. Okay, amazing. So it's looking a bit crazy, but that's all good because we're going to sort that out in a minute. Okay, now to carve out the crease, I'm going to be using the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal. Sorry. <laughs> oh, calm down. This is in the lightest shade they do. This is porcelain. So I'm going to pop a little bit on my trusty dish. So I'm literally just going to use a dollop like that. Okay, now to carve it out, you're going to need something that's quite small. You could actually even use a clean angled brush, which I might swap to if I'm not getting the angles that I need. But this is just a Real Techniques detailer brush. It came in a bit of a set with some others, but this is what I like to use because it's quite small and compact. So I'm going to dab into a little bit of the product on the front and the back of the um, brush. Couldn't, couldn't get me words out. Okay, on the front of the back of the brush. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit. It's gonna look a bit crazy, but. So you can see already on the eye, we've left a bit of a white space anyway. So that's why you don't really wanna be wasting too much product whilst you're doing your eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna start by really slowly dabbing this along the bottom. You don't want too much product because what happens if you open your eyes too quickly is the concealer will transfer to the top of your lid, which might happen now, I don't know. But if it does, it's not a problem. You just need to go back over the top of the lid. But you want to avoid it because it is a bit annoying. Okay, so for this part, I like to do it with my eyes open so I can just see exactly where I'm putting that product. I'm gonna go up a bit higher, tap, 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 and just try not to blink. Oh my God, you know when you're like, when you can't do something, all you wanna do is that. That's like me right now with blinking. How funny. Okay, with this one, I am gonna go out. I don't know what I just shut then. I am gonna go out and flick this out. So I'm gonna start to do that now. And you may find that it's starting to mix. It's not giving you a clear enough cut. That's absolutely fine. All it's doing is just picking up a little bit of um, your eyeshadow on the brush. Okay, so with a little bit more, so you can see it's transferred at the top a little bit. That's fine, we can sort that out. I'm just gonna dab this so it dries a bit quicker. If you've got big eyes, it's so hard to not get it on the crease, so please don't worry if you're like, oh, it's a mess, because it isn't. It's just, you just need to go back over it. It is all good in the hood, baby girl. So I've gone for quite a lot on the end of this brush now, because we're just going in to this corner part, and you want it to be as seamless as possible. Okay, so when it's looking like this, I'm just gonna take my concealer buffing brush, the same one that I always use, and just start to buff that out along and up. And remember, we haven't done our foundation yet, so it's perfect, we can clean that up when we need to in a little while. So already you can see this flick kind of being created. Okay, so now with the brush that we were using to apply the eyeshadow, all we're gonna do is really carefully just go over where we see the concealer. And you have to be careful as well because the concealer will make the shadow really cling. So you don't want something too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette because it's got this white in it and that's why I really want this to be quite stark. So I'm just gonna go and pack that on. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little angled brush. 
I'm gonna pop that into the product so it's super white and I'm just gonna pack that on to the cut grease. Okay, now to add to it, I'm gonna add a bit of a flick. You don't need to do this, you can just put your lashes on and go straight ahead. But I'm gonna try and follow this flick that we've got. So I'm gonna start in the outer corner. And just come back and fill it in. I like to just dab along the line, the top lash line when I'm doing a cut crease, so you don't want to go too thick. And I'll go right to the end. I'm just gonna fill in any gaps just by dabbing. So this is what we have on this side. I'm gonna literally go ahead and just do this one quickly off camera so we've got them both looking the same okay so now both of your eyes are done just go ahead and add some mascara i am going to be adding some false lashes to this look so i'm not going to go too heavy on making sure that the eyes are perfect with mascara i'm just going to make sure that my blonde lashes are coated shout out to all the blonde babes that just struggle on the daily with their blonde eyelashes so hard though because when I'm not wearing makeup I actually prefer my lashes to be blonde it's really weird like I prefer my face to just be like blonde blonde do you know what I mean I don't want to necessarily look like I've got dark lashes it's just when I do makeup I'm like oh I wish my lashes were dark it's like a constant battle problems eh girl problems proper makeup girl problems didn't even say I'm just using the their real benefit mascara this is like everyone's fave in it the only thing I hate about this is it runs out so quickly like after even like two or three weeks I have to add a little bit of fix plus or something to just like juice it up again and then it's fine for a little bit but you know you just like just wish it could be fine forever I'm gonna go ahead and do foundation now. It's just gonna to start to hopefully bring the face together. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I am in shade four, four. I'm gonna go ahead and pump some of this into my dish. So with my trusty Real Techniques brush, I'm just gonna to start to apply it to the face. With a beauty blender using the round end, I'm gonna go ahead and start to blend that foundation in. Okay, so now the foundation's on, I'm gonna go ahead and add concealer, the same as what I use for my eyes. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is so cheap, guys. You can get it on Amazon or Beauty Bay or just loads of other places and it's like, it varies from like three pounds to five pounds, depending where you get it. But it's pretty good. If you're on a budget and you wanna just experiment with concealers or highlighting, then this is perfect. So I'm just gonna go out, I'm not gonna go right to the flick, but I'm just gonna go close to it so I can really neaten it up. Down the bridge of the nose. Just in all the usual places, you know. Okay, so with my pink beauty blender, I prefer this one, I don't know if it's psychological, whether it's like I just prefer the pink one to blend concealer or whether it's like a legit thing, I don't know. I'm just gonna bounce this. Now I look like a ghost. I'm gonna pop a little bit of Laura Mercier powder into the lid of this. 
So with the triangular part, the same part we use to apply the concealer. I'm just gonna pop it on my beauty blender and as always just set the under eyes. Okay, so whilst that's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some lashes on. I'm gonna be using my favorite eyelid ones today. This is the 141. These are so amazing, they look really pretty and they are so comfortable to wear. After wearing lashes that have quite thick bands, these feel like a breath of fresh air. After always, I mean the Coco lashes that I love to wear are comfortable, but they're just not as comfortable as these because they don't have as thick as a band. And I don't want the eye, I want the eye to be kind of dramatic, but I don't want it to be like, here's some lashes. I want it to be more focused on that kind of cut crease that we've created. Because I've got quite big eyes, I never really need to measure these out and check they fit because I've used these ones before, firstly. And secondly, because my eyes are big, they're usually perfect for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on some glue. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little tweezy things and just pick up a lash. Bloody hell. Just let that, just let that go there. Okay, bye. Okay, so let's pop. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, well, that was really fun. We're just gonna have to pop a little bit more eyelash glue on now because, you know, that was bloody annoying, wasn't it? Well, it was just gonna ring and shut up, but it wasn't, was it? So, okay, so let's plonk these on. Now that the lashes are on, I'm gonna go ahead and take the powder off from underneath the eye. This is the Real Techniques contour brush, but I really like to do it just to dust the powder away. It's nice and small, so it gets in everywhere. So to add a little bit more life back to the face and just to a bit of definition, I'm gonna go ahead and contour. So with my big fan fluffy brush and the MAC blush shade Harmony, I'm just gonna run my brush into that. This is lovely when you don't want a harsh kind of contour and you just want to warm up the face and add a bit of definition. So just draw in a little bit and just go along that line. I like to lay it down first and then take some of it away if it's a little bit too much, which, you know. God, I'm a bit too much today. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the color from the top. So I'm gonna add the Real Guard color on a tiny little definer brush. And I'm just gonna run it along the bottom lash line. Just like that. I'm aware that these bits of hair look really orange. Probably because it is orange and it's got foundation in it, which I'll sort out in a bit. <laughs> but also because I had yellow in my hair before underneath, so some, some bits can look like my hair's been trapped in the foundation. But I promise you it's not. Okay, a little bit of mascara for the bottom lashes. So my fave blush again at the moment is this little pink Chanel one. I think it's gonna be a little bit too bright for this, a little bit too pink. So I'm gonna go ahead with my trusty Zoeva Coral Spectrum Palette, if I can get it out, and just use that peachy tone. When I'm doing quite bright eyes, I do like to use this one just because it's a real fail safe. And it always, always adds just the perfect amount of warmth to the skin. So I'm gonna run that in with my Morphe M107 brush. and just add that onto the cheeks. Perfect. Okay, now it's time, which is always the best time. It's highlight time. Okay, so for my cheekbones, I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, which is a little bit smashed. I've had it for a really long time. You can see that it's proper mashed up. 
but I'm gonna use it anyway because I love it and I'm just gonna start by taking it with my finger you can see it's a really beautiful bronze shade just knocking a little bit off and just starting to pat that down on the end of the nose the cupid's bow and the inner corners of the eye this is such a beautiful bronze shade so I think it'll be perfect with this look just put that on the tops of the cheeks Okay, so no look would be complete without some lips. Okay, I'm gonna start lining my lips with Boldly Bare. I just hate deciding what lip I've got until I've got my whole face on, do you know what I mean? I think either if you're like dead set on a certain lip color, you work from the lip. If you're dead set on a certain eye, you know, colour and design, you've got to go from that. Whatever comes first. Whatever is most important to you that day. Okay, there's only one thing left to do and that's just to spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you like it. The cut crease is super easy and as you do it and as I do it, we'll both get better at it. So it's a win-win. It's perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. If you want to look cute for yourself, for your man, for your girl, whoever, whoever, whoever babe. As always, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean so much. Before you go, please don't forget to check out my other videos. So yeah, until my next video, I'll see you then. Okay, so I am gonna, nah, it's not gonna work, is it?